Hi and welcome to Kerno Guitar. In this lesson I want to teach you a simple Steve Vai style lick that you heard me play at the beginning of the video. It's not a hard lick to uh, play, it just takes a bit of practice. It basically works around the way Steve Vai likes to use intervals and particularly in this case fifth intervals. So let's, and at the end of the video I will post the tab and I will also have the backing track playing underneath it so you guys can then practice along with that backing track which is simply just an E add 9 chord loop so let's start breaking the lick down so we're going to start with our open 6th string then we're going to go to our 2nd fret on the A string or the 5th string then we're going to move our hand position so our 1st finger comes onto that note and repeat that note then we're going to go to the 4th fret on the fourth string, move our hand position up and repeat that note. Then we're going to go to the sixth fret on the third string, move our hand position up again and repeat that note. Then we're going to go to the ninth fret on the second string, move our hand position up and repeat that note. Then we go to the eleventh fret on the first string. Move our hand position up and repeat that note. Then we go to the 12th fret on the 2nd string. Move our hand position up, repeat that note. Then we go to the 14th fret on the 1st string. Move our hand position up and repeat that note. Then we go to the 16th fret on the 2nd string. Move our hand position up, repeat that note. Then we go to the 18th fret on the 1st string, move our hand position up, repeat that note. Then we finish, we go to the 19th fret on the 2nd string, and then we repeat that note. So the lick played slow would be something like this. So if we were to break that lick down into what's actually happening, it's effectively mainly stacked fifth intervals. So all you guys out there that play power chords will recognise these shapes. These. So when we get here we start mixing in some third intervals, major third intervals, which you'll recognise from some of your open chord shapes. So we go into then back with the fifth intervals. As you can see it's a simple enough lick it just takes practice getting your timing right and like I said I'll now put up the tab for you and also that backing track loop backing track looping underneath so you can practice along this lick I'll catch you next time but I'm looking at doing a John Petrucci style shred lick so like and subscribe comment below for anything else you would like to see like to learn like to know about playing guitar and I'll try and get the videos up for you. I'll catch you next time. Steve signing out.